Hi everyone, I'm Stefano from 3D Render and Beyond. Today I want to show you a cool new feature from the latest build of uh, V-Ray 5 for Cinema 4D, released a couple of days ago, the stochastic tiling. Before we start, I want to thank all our followers for encouraging us in creating new content for V-Ray for Cinema. Thank you all and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our newsletter so that we can uh, create even more content in the future. Let's start. V-Ray already has many tools for randomizing textures, but the new stochastic tiling feature brings it to a whole new level. You can use it in several circumstances. Let's see the first one. Here we have uh, this texture and uh, as we can see, it's not tileable. Then the pattern is very little. So. As soon as we try to use it in V-Ray, we do not only see the repetitions, uh, we also have a discontinuity between the texture tiles. We can try to fix it in Photoshop, but uh, since the pattern is very little, we won't get an optimal result. Let's see how the stochastic tiling can help uh, with these sort of situations. We can load the texture inside the V-Ray UVW randomized shader. We already have some texture offset and rotation by default, but in this case it's not going to help us. But here comes the magic. Just click on stochastic tiling and bang! We have infinite variations of the same pattern that blends into each other seamlessly. Very cool. If you need it, you can play with the seed, the rotation, the scale and the blending of the texture to further tune the effect depending on the situation. It's really amazing. This is not only useful for poor quality non-tileable texture. Even if you use large high resolution patterns, it can still be very useful. Here we don't have discontinuity between texture tiles. But no matter how good your texture is, if you look at it from afar, you can still notice some repetitions. Stochastic tiling will fix this issue in no time. Just turn it on and now it's perfect. Now you can use the texture to give a variation inside the sheen effect for a velvet shader for example. It works really well. And whenever you want to build an ion shader, this feature will give you great control over the variations of the bitmaps. That's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed and I want to remind you that our V-Ray 5 Essential course is already on pre-sale at a discounted price. You can find the link below. 